What in the world? Where are these marks? You're leading up to... Oh my god. Well, now is a better time than ever to put those uh, new wheels and tires on. Hey, what's going on, people? Thanks for tuning in again for another video, for another vlog, whatever, you know. Well, as you can, as you can see from the beginning of this video, I uh, have a flat tire. So what happened was I was about to leave to go to Steve's uh, place because we were going to install new tie rod end links and also roll the fenders in preparation for my upcoming wheels and tires and eventual coils, I guess, you know, eventually whenever, whenever I get those. I pulled out of the driveway and I noticed that the car felt weird. The steering wheel was pulling to the left. So I stopped, got out, noticed, yep. So I backed it back in. And right now I'm actually on my way to Steve's house, you know, anyways. Well, one just to hang out or whatever. But also I need to borrow a few tools at the time of this video tomorrow, which would be a Sunday. I am gonna go to uh, the NTB near me, new wheels and tires, get them mounted and everything balanced or whatnot, come home and then put them on the car. And what's funny is that I haven't drove that car in like almost two weeks. Or I have no idea how long that tire's been flat. <laughs> I don't know if I picked up a nail or I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see you tomorrow. Shut up. God damn. I know there's a cop nearby. Shit. By the way, like I've had these wheels and tires for a while now, but I was biding my time until I had good suspension because I wanted to put them all at once you know and do a video or a reveal video of it of how the car looks with new wheels and tires after the suspension and all that stuff but this, this is the cars that life dealt me and now I have to put on these wheels and tires way sooner than I planned there's probably some silver lining in here somewhere I don't know I also hope they don't look weird with the, the car on stock suspension you know just weird or ricey you know I just hope that's not the case because <laughs> I guess I guess I'll be a ricer if that's the case. I'm working on getting coils. I can't say anything, you know, set in stone just yet. I, let's just I'll just say that I'm working on it. I'm talking to a company and whatnot. Hopefully in the next I don't know month, maybe. I, and I've been talking to them for a while, but it, I, I'm I'm sure it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it from what they've been telling me and what we've been talking about. Ooh, check this out. Notice. Man, hold up. So, I'll, yeah, I'll see you all at Steve's. <laughs> hey, my dude. Oh, yep. That's what I said earlier when I found out my wheel, <laughs> my tire was flat. I'm gonna need to borrow this because mine at home was kind of broken. I think I have some impact socks at home. I'm not sure because it's been a while since I used them. So I might have to borrow one of yours. No, it's, yeah, oh yeah, I wish I do have a spline drive for, so that's fine. I'm not sure if my torque wrench I have at home, it goes high enough, or if it even works to be honest, because my dad bought it a while, a long, like years ago, and I don't remember the last time none, none, any of us have used it, so <laughs> I doubt it. My dad's Filipino. Filipinos go one or two ways. We either get super bougie or super cheap. So <laughs> and we're not. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're not rich, so so bougie's out of the question. Once I get that done tomorrow, I'm gonna head over and do uh, the stuff I planned on doing today. All right, jack, jack handle, impact, socket, and torque wrench. All right, guys, so hung out with Steve for a little bit and uh, got what I needed. Well, yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning. The next day. And we're back the next morning. So here are the wheels. You can see they are Koenigs. If y'all follow me on this on Instagram, y'all probably have seen me make like Instagram stories about on some of these. I kept them under the wraps, you know, because I didn't want to reveal them and hype them up and all that stuff when it was still a far time before I put them on the car. Y'all be seeing them today. Back there, that's where the that's where that tires are. Firestone Firehawks Indy 500s. So I'm just gonna load them up into the Forerunner and head over to NTB. <music> Okay, so I got them all loaded in on our way to uh, the NTB. There's an NTB near my uh, near my place, and uh, I called ahead just to see how much they cost. It's 
not that much. I think they said like 10 for mounting, 15 for balancing. And I don't have valve stems, but luckily theirs is uh, no extra cost. So, oh, and those prices are per tire. So it's, I mean, it's not that bad. I went 25 bucks per tire. This is assuming they do a good job, of course. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. So I'll see y'all there in a minute. One hour later. All right, guys, see back there? All four of them mounted, aired, uh, everything. So now I'm just gonna go home and put them on the car. So I'll see y'all when I get home. All right, guys, back in my garage. We're finna put the uh, new tires on, but I figured I'd show these two 64 to 72 millimeter hub centric rings. These are needed because the, the stock hub bore on the RSX Type S is like the R. They're 64 if I'm not mistaken. And these new these new wheels are hub size are 72 millimeters. So you kind of need to run these hub centric rings so that way they fit properly on your on your whatever car you have or whatever. I also have these cute little uh, <laughs> uh, Honda valve stem covers you know just just for a little added rice Bruh. and we have these aftermarket uh, spline drive lug nuts that's all, that's all the extra shit i needed so let's get to this i am i'm dying to put these on <laughs> guys finally got the wheels on everything's good everything's torqued down and everything and we can finally say goodbye to these stockies i'll probably just leave them here in the garage uh spares i mean you can't really get much for them anyway so i don't know this flat one though can go to hell <laughs> and i gotta say it looks pretty nice it's gonna look better with suspension of course but right now it's looking pretty decent so here they are Here is 17 by 8 plus 35 offset Koenig hypergrams in gray, complete with Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s. And these are 245, 40, 17. Not too flashy. They're flow formed. It's a different style of forging. Uh, it makes them pretty much the strongest forge, but they're easier and cheaper to make or something through that process. Something like that, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure, to be honest. I haven't literally really looked into it that much. They're not too flashy. They're the right specs I want, at least for now. So this wheel and tire combination is definitely gonna help me in future track events and whatnot. Okay, so it sticks out just a little bit, but once I get suspension, I'm gonna fix the alignment, specifically 
with the caster and camber specs. So yeah, that's it for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please like this video and also subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll get around to doing more bike videos with the Vulcan S in the future. I got one planned, I just haven't got around to, to riding. I'm kind of hoping for it to cool down a little bit because it's been kind of hot. It's October and it's still hot down here in Houston. Jeez, I'm so over it. Thanks for watching guys. See y'all in the next one. Peace.